And Scorpio, while I shuffle the cards and look at this, look at the confirmation here. We do have the King of Cups twice. We cut the cards to shuffle and we have one King of Cups upright, one King of Cups in reverse. Might be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio like yourself. And oh my God, that is a lot of love here. But I wanted to say, while I, I shuffle the cards, please, I would much appreciate for you to subscribe my channel, only if you want. And, um, and that's it. And thank you. So you know what? Let's see what's coming your way. King of Cups, Eight of Wands. Somebody is extremely passionate about you. Eight of Wands is the communication card. It's the passionate communication card. Cupid, Zeros, and Love. And we do have the Queen of Swords, <coughs> Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. In reverse, somebody might have, um, you know, told a lie, being dishonest. That's the energy of the swords in reverse. They might be a little bit angry. They are, might be a little bit frustrated if you are dealing with a water sign or maybe that's your energy coming across. And the Four of Swords, some silent treatment after a period of probably coldness and unfairness. Let's see. Comes across here. King of Cups, Four of Wands in reverse. Some um, roots might be shook a little bit. So let's see. Probably this is what happened in the past and now we are you know, dealing with this and going through or managing. We do have the three ones, the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy and the judgment. And the Ten of Swords. We are most certainly, and the King of Wands, we are most certainly hitting a connection with the, with the fire sign here. Can also be a Taurus involved in some way. Um, but honestly, I do believe this has something to do with a marriage, a commitment, a relationship that was uh, very important. We actually had expectations, three of ones with the Hierophant, right? We expected it to last forever. We expected it to be traditional. We expected it to be, um, you know, kind of one of, one of the best and it uh, made sense and we've invested a lot. This is how I'm, uh, we pick the energy up and now, um, you know, something happened and we got upside down. We no longer had expectations and the commitment was either non-traditional, either non-existent. That's the higher point in reverse. We'll see with the other energies. Or somebody might have messed up and now we are healing with the judgment. We are giving uh, second chances to this. It's a king of wands energy. Can be you can be the person you are dealing with in a sense that you can embody the energy of passion the energy of you know what i am going to put some action and dedication into this because that's the king of um of wands so scorpio let's see past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies Let's see current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome for you and the person you are dealing with. Bottom of the deck, four of wands in reverse. Probably I'm picking up the energy of a Scorpio who is about to divorce somebody. We have two energies of traditional marriage in reverse and the three of wands again is this energy of what in the world can I now expect from this, right? That is nothing else to be had actually. And um, ten of swords and the judgment. For some of you, I'll, I'll see how it goes, but probably there was such a betrayal that only a sentence, a decision, some administrative um, stuff and, um, and um, you know, kind of... Um, I'm called to say papers, but it's um, decisions and uh, might uh, bring you back, um, you know, being your passionate self. We'll see. Looks like a big betrayal. So Scorpio, in the past, we do have lovers and we do have nine of swords. So yeah, there was love and probably you love this person. Probably you made a choice. The lovers is also um, a choice in love that we make. And we were equally worried, right? We love them, but we all we were also extremely worried about something, either about the choice, either about the person, either about what came afterwards. The level of commitment, because we have right as the overall energy, um, the commitment in reverse. So we might have had doubts about, um, we might have had, um, you know, reasons to believe that maybe this person is, uh, is not the committal type. 
um, because we have now um, kind of two energies of um, of a I don't want to say troubled commitment, but of a different um, level of commitment. So yeah, there was love. Yeah, you felt love, but then, but then we felt, um, you know, um, anxious about it and probably depressed. Nine of Swords is the energy of depression, anxiety, sleepless nights. Uh, what am I going to? But it's also the energy of the mind, so you might have um, worried a little bit too much in your head more than actually reasons to. Now this person in the past comes to the table with the three of pentacles in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse. Well, uh, it's an interesting energy um, because six of pentacles is the energy of lack of reciprocation. So for some of you, you might have felt that, you know, they were not on the same page with you. They were not reciprocating. They were not committed at the same level you were. But honestly, I'm also feeling that that's the energy where they felt a little bit out of balance. Um, with the six of pentacles out of place and out of balance and not being like you know their um, higher self and because of it um, we have the three of pentacles in reverse this is again the partnership card so we just started the reading and you have one two three energies of partnership and building something together but it is all of the three energies are in reverse so you know because they might have been out of balance might have been not in a sweet spot in terms of um you know uh, when their life is settled and everybody feels good and and they have purpose and direction and um and because of it three of pentacles what exactly can we build right when one is up and one is down now mutual energies uh, between the two of you we do have the moon in reverse maybe some secrets came out and kind of intervened between you and this person and you also have your own energy scorpio queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio of course can be a water sign but honestly i do believe we have pentacles on one side um swords and lovers on the other one but i i kind of feel that a lot of emotions might might have um stood in your way uh, throwing them off throwing them off balance and giving you a lot of um, concerns and worries about this a little bit how it feels maybe a Pisces of course with the moon in reverse but maybe we got emotional because we found out stuff they might have found out about you you might have found out it's your mutual energies between the two of you there was a little bit of an energy of secrets of some sort <clears throat> so uh, where are we right now um, Scorpio, we do have the seven of pentacles in reverse. I'm not seeing a separation. I'm seeing just something on the rocks here. Um, right now we do have the seven of pentacles energy. This is the energy of impatience. <clears throat> we might be losing patience with this person. And the seven of wands is a little bit of the energy of blockages, of standing your ground, but it is in reverse, right? So we might be a little bit... We have moments where we want to shake them. It's like, please wake up, you know? let's have a con let's talk about it what's going on come on you know that's the energy of seven of wands and sometimes it's like you know what i'm gonna do my thing you're gonna do your thing and and then whatever happens happens but then we get impatient again right for some of you they might have blocked you of course seven of wands and we are really kind of impatiently waiting for us to unblock us and i don't feel this is the majority of all uh, at all on the contrary i feel more that I might be picking up the um, somebody who's trying to heal a commitment. We do have the Ten of Swords in reverse, right? So it has been a betrayal. And now we are kind of slowly trying to find a way back in with the judgment by using our better judgment, you know, good counsel, giving second chances, you know, uh, trying to be passionate again. So we might have moments where it's like, you know, I'm impatient and I'm... I, I, it's kind of difficult to control myself in energy of anger and then energies of oh you know that's it i'm 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 giving up now the person you are dealing with they do have temperance in reverse and the two of cups again this energy of out of balance so somebody might be working actually on their healing might be uh, working on their compromise finding a compromise with you and 
moving towards a place of um, understanding and, and finding solutions, I would say. And it comes from a place of love. We have them with the Two of Cups energy. This is, of course, Scorpio, you are loved, if that, that was your question. But again, they might bring to the table this energy. It can also be a Sagittarius at a distance. The distance can be physical, can be emotional, you know, can be in any way possible. But there is a bond. Two of, two of Cups is a spiritual bond, is a um, spiritual love. It's a, it's a union that is meant to be, right? And they feel it and they know about it. So Scorpio, where are we right now? Mutual energies between you and this person. We do have the Queen of Wands. So I might be picking up the energy of two Queens, but we do have a King, right? We have Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. So, um, But I'm sensing uh, we, open line, we open line of communication. We do have the Hermit, Virgo energy. The Hermit is in reverse, and the Queen of Wands is the passionate human being. Um, so I'm sensing with the King of Wands here, Queen of Wands here is like... You know, we are really putting a lot of passion into this connection in terms of um, taming yourself, bringing forward, like, you know, your best uh, self. Um, they seem to be very honest, if that was your question. On your side, you have this warrior kind of energy, right? Seven of Pentacles in reverse is who has time for patience. Yeah. Uh, who has time for the, you know, the harvest time to to uh, reap the rewards in, in due time. Nobody has time. Seven of Wands is the warrior kind of energy, you know. Nine of Swords is the mind being the enemy. So, I don't know. Of course, you can, uh, right, swap sides and, and take only uh, what resonates. But on your side, I'm seeing you struggling while this person actually struggles with their own, um, I would say, balance and their own way of... Um, healing themselves, finding a path, finding a compromise, uh, being at ease, right? They might be going through financial uh, struggles too with the Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you might be dealing with somebody who's out of work. Uh, three of Pentacles in reverse absolutely is the energy of uh, somebody being jobless. And Six of Pentacles in reverse is like, you know, empty pocket, so they have nothing, so... I do love the energy coming your way. We do have the Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So stability is coming. Ten of Pentacles is the energy of family and legacy, focusing on what gives you stability and this connection stability. And the Six of Cups is the emotional bond that you have with this person being reinforced coming your way. So they know better now. And Two of Cups and Six of Cups coming your way. I mean, right? We want more. Um... And for some of you being separated from this person, Six of Cups is the energy of reconciliation and somebody from the past coming back with an offer of stability here. Because this is the outcome, right? So outcome for them. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups again and this is your energy, Scorpio, and the Justice in reverse. And it's simply interesting. Six of Pentacles is, um, it's simply amazing. Honestly, it's just, that is a very strong message for somebody. We do have in the past Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is Justice in Minor Arcana and we have Justice again in Minor Arcana. Both energies in reverse. So it's more than out of balance. It's more than out of place. This person, I, I don't know if they feel good in their skin, but Justice in reverse. Either they are um, going through the biggest sense of unfairness, like the whole universe is against them. Um, they might feel, you know, like a... Um, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm having the word in French, but, um, it's kind of like the whole universe is planning on, um, giving them, you know, like the best lesson, uh, ever, you know, so it might be in their mind. I'm just saying, and because of it, they might be again, emotional. Of course, this can be your energy, queen of cups in reverse, but this is also the energy of out of control emotions, of impulsivity, imp being, uh, you know, acting, acting on an impulse being impulsive, but it's the energy of anger, you know, and frustration combined with the justice. It's like, oh my God, what's going on, right? It's like the universe having a plan against them. Um, and, and really overwhelming emotions, but I do love the Two of Cups, right? So despite the 
whatever we think is happening, um, they are aware of the love. So they know that it's a bond, they know that it's a connection, they know they want to invest in this. But there is just the unfairness in, I think, this connection of yours, and you know better, Scorpio, if if they accuse you of um, of being unfair, being unjust, being impulsive, over-emotional, um, you know, um, not being in control with uh, of your emotions and stuff like this, it shows up on their side, like, or they are out of balance, and, and it has a huge impact on the partnership, on their emotional stability, on their judgment, on their um, um, gestures, I would say, be, um, you know, towards you with the Ten of Swords. It's kind of a world of betrayal. And my, but my be a Scorpio dealing with another water sign. We do have King of Cups and the Ten of Wands, both of you burdened by these emotions, but in the same time, King of Cups. That is love for sure. That is no doubt that this connection has love and has passion. And for some of you, probably very few of you, we do have King of Wands, uh, Queen of Wands. We have King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups actually shows up twice. So we might have somebody, um, we might have a connection here that is, um, you know, um, somebody might be married both of you in a committed relationship and then that is something non-traditional. Like I was saying at the beginning, Hierophant in reverse is the energy of um, unconventional commitment, out of the box thinking um, in regards to love. So um, people from completely different um, ethnic backgrounds and um, religion and so on and so forth. For some of you might might be that, you know. And this love is simply is there. It is true, but it's burdening and out of balance because probably we can't have each other any any time we want, right? So um, I'm just saying, I know. <laughs> Anyways, Scorpio, let's ask for some guidance, baby. Let's see what we need to do about this connection. And I'm not using traditional guidance cards, but I'm I am using activation um, energies, activation cards, um, and um, they guide us on what energies we need to keep uh, flowing because, or they are pointing us at the energy that was blocked uh, in this connection. So let's see. We do have indecision. So indecision might be in your connection with this person. And that is the message in it, and, I, and it says, I used my intuition in all aspects of life. So when you have indecision, this is when you have to use your, your intuition, right? When you don't know what to do, in doubt, use your intuition, right? We have vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So you see further down the line, right, with this connection. And it's enabling the energy of vision. It's developing a vision for this connection. Are they the right one? We have harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. So we need to keep the harmony flowing in this connection. We might have moments where it might be inexistent. Oh, we're going to take it. And we do have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth so we need to let go of guilt right i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth okay and we have release you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe so that is something we need to let go and that is so your energy scorpio because look it feels like um the death card right letting go of unwanted energies so that we Unable new energies to come, to come in. Well, letting go of guilt, it looks like we might have some baggage that we actually you are guided to let go. And you have and the baggage with the guilt and beliefs and also with the release is exactly the same energy. It's like living the past in the past and developing a new vision about harmony by using your intuition, right? That's the main message I'm picking up. We do have successful completion. This is the world card in traditional tarot. 
and it says this is a time of incredible accomplishments this is the happy endings actually uh, you're justified in feeling joy a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done you've been blessed with many spiritual insights soon you'll begin a new journey but for now take time to bask in the happiness of your own dreams coming true yeah. And we do have the Guardian of Thought, and this is the King of Swords in traditional tarot, right? Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. And it says you may be called upon to be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you the perfect words, and you'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. This situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person, who could be you, may be emotionally unavailable. Um, maybe you are asked to be a little bit the king of swords in the situation, and this is the clarity of the mind and speaking your truth and being a little bit detached, right? Can be very well, uh, this one, because something is about to end here and actually happy end, right? And something is um, probably about to begin. And I'm sensing it's exactly with the same person. You don't have a new offer, but we are working on this unconventional, out of the box, a little bit out of balance connection that we have with somebody who loves you, by the way. Um, so Scorpio, you know, you always have to use your better judgment, right? And as always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.